Hey everyone, so a new website link has surfaced and it does reveal a little bit more stuff. I mean, it doesn't reveal much more, but it does reveal something um, new, at least something big that's new. Um, but it has some more descriptions for next season in Ninjago. And it has some amazing wallpaper images. I'll show you two um, amazing images that were actually like new um, that I had gotten from this website. But first I'm going to show you the descriptions, the main part of this video. It is called Evil, the first section is called Evil Green Ninja. Sensei Garbodon was sent to the Cursed Realm. But as he went in, a truly evil spirit came out. Moro, the Master of Wind. This phantom fighter has a hateful plan that involves the green ninja, Sensei Wu, and a crystal from the grave of the first Minjutsu master. If he succeeds, he will let a truly terrible creature loose on Ninjago. What does that mean? That is something totally new that we had not known yet. So, Moro is actually planning on releasing some sort of creature onto Ninjago. What can that be? Um, I'm guessing it's something from the Cursed Realm, so obviously something from the Cursed Realm that will most likely... Moral's main plan is to curse all of Ninjago, so I think this creature will somehow do something to help curse all of Ninjago itself. Um, it will probably make it much easier for him to do that. It will probably help him actually curse the whole land of Ninjago, and just like certain things... Um, and then the next thing is ally or enemy. Ronin is a master thief who ends up in the middle of this epic battle between good and evil. But Ronin refuses to choose sides. He has no master, only temporary employers. He will serve whoever pays better. Is Ronin an ally to be counted on or an enemy to be feared? Will he fight for what is right or only for what is right for him? So Ronin only fights for whoever pays him better. So, even if he was like a horror, if he even if it was like a bad guy paying him, he he'd do whatever he was asked because he's being paid better by that person. So that's what Ronan said in the video game. He said he's getting, he just wanted all the money, you know. He that's exactly what Ronan did. He's not really specifically bad or good. He's just he's just going for whoever can pay him the best. He's just going for the money. He's all in it for money. So, that's Ronan. I think he's obviously going to be good in this season. But, um, again, he is like a sort of different sort of character, you know? He's kind of interesting. And here's another thing. Scared of ghosts. Cole is strong and tough. Is Cole is a strong and tough guy on the outside. But that is just a cover. Many things frighten him. Back in the day, he did not like dragons. And now it turns out he is scared of ghosts. Pretty bad when you are fighting a small army of the very worst of the spooky specters from the Cursed Realm. Cole must dig deep into his own soul to confront his fears and get over his unfortunate fright. So again, now he's afraid of something else besides dragons. So he has to get over a fright of ghosts. He's afraid of ghosts. So again, Cole is now afraid of something else. It's kind of funny. But um, yeah, so now he's afraid of ghosts. So he's going to come over that. And here's some more descriptions. Samurai or ninja? Is Nia a ninja? Sensei Wu says she has an elemental power in her. And if she can control it, she will become a mighty weapon in the battle against Moro. But it is hard to focus on unlocking hidden powers when your friends are out fighting cursed spirits. Now Nia has to muster up all of her courage and willpower to face her inner fears of failure learn to go with the flow and become the sixth ninja of the ninja of the team will she succeed or must she remain the still pretty awesome samurai x so obviously her main thing to do is the key probably to um unlock her power is to overcome that she to overcome her fear of failing so she does not like the um feeling of failing she does not want to fail so because of that, that's what's holding her back. If she fails, that's what's going, what's going to keep her holding her back. She fears her failure. So, and then the last description is the quest to save Lloyd. Lloyd is in a fragile state. The loss of his father weighs heavy on his heart. An easy target for the cursed soul Moro, who possesses the green ninja to use his powers for, for his evil plot. To save Lloyd, then 
Ninja must travel to an uncharted lands, unlock amazing new abilities, and master powerful weapons. All while they are fighting the most frightening enemies Ninjago has ever seen. The ghosts, of course. So, um, Lloyd's is in his fragile state right now because Garmadon is gone. And hopefully we'll see him at the end, knowing that this chest thing on him might um, actually bring, it just brings things from the Curse Realm. So maybe we'll bring Garmadon back, you know. Never know what they will do in the show, but it does look very, very cool. Now we have this new wallpaper image that I also want to talk about. It is from that um, little poster thing that I showed you months back now. It was like in that, it was put together in little Lego bricks and then I just kind of put it together so you guys could see it. But it was on like a wall at like a toy fair months ago. And now we actually have a clear image of Zane in that image. So you can see there's Zane throwing his arrow blade at some screamers um, in the city of Sticks. Um, in the nighttime, all the spooky nighttime and all that, with the big moon there that they always seem to have um, in the sky. And then you can see there he's throwing his arrow blade to attack the screamers. So this is a very, very amazing image. I love this image. It looks very, very cool, and I cannot wait to get this new season. At least see more of it because it looks amazing. I mean, this season just looks so cool. Um, my Rise of the Snakes has always been my favorite, but you never know. This season, um, it just it looks really, really, really good. So I like the theme of it, all the darker, spookier sort of stuff. I I just I just really like it. You know, I just really like the setting of this season. And then we have this image here of the city of Sticks itself, the city like on water or above water or something like that. I've heard. Um, but the city of Sticks, it's built above water, so you can see there the water and the ships. But then you can see it is built there. This is from the background of this website, and. Um, it looks amazing. The City of Sticks just looks like such a cool place. And um, you can see there, it's like, it's like dark. It looks dark and spooky and mysterious during the night and foggy and all that, you know. They just really made a good setting for this ghost season because it just seems so spooky and dark, you know. It just seems so odd. And it's just such a different place, you know. And this is such an amazing picture. I mean, this picture is so amazing. Um, I think mean, this is where Ronan lived, and that's why they originally went there. I, I haven't watched them in English, so that's just what I'm getting from the people who have seen them um, and understood them. But I think they went there because Ronan lived there. Because um, Ronan was there when I watched them. So, But they are at the City of Sticks, and I think that's the... We, I think they might learn Air Jitsu there, since there is a set of the City of Sticks. So, it's like a building, a few buildings of... Um, from the City of Sticks, so it's a very, very cool looking set. I think it'll only be at Toys R Us, but um, it is a very, very um, cool looking place, and I'm glad this is a setting for the next season because this looks very, very cool. Cannot wait to see this season, and um, yeah, what do you guys think about these pictures and these descriptions? Lots of stuff from this website, and I just, I just can't wait anymore. I mean, hopefully we'll get the set soon. Um, Still, I'm really debating on when we really will get them, because it seems like they're doing the same thing we do with the tournament um, sets, where um, Europe and all them got them um, in January, and then we got them in March. So I hope they don't do that again. But the you know, official release for like UK and Europe and all that is June first, so they'll officially be announced out. They've already been out, but they'll be officially announced out and officially out on June 1st, which is Monday, so, but, yet again, if it's June 1st and it's a few months later for us, it could well possibly easily be um, August, which I hope it is not, but it may be August when we get the sets, if it is, it just, we can't do anything about it, it just kind of sucks, you know, I still do think the Air Jet Suits will come first, but, yeah. So what do you guys think about these new things, and yeah, what do you think about the City of Sticks image and this image of Zane? Very, very cool.